In this short training nugget, I'm going to cover the waveform functionality within Xlights. Now this functionality has got a whole lot better in the latest version. So we're going to be talking about this element here. And to help you visualize this, I'm going to give you a zoomed in view here. So when you create or import a musical track into Xlights, you'll get this raw waveform which is showing you the full spectrum of frequencies of that particular audio track. And if we was to play that, yeah, so you can hear the audio as it would sound. And we use this for picking out troughs and peaks so we can see drum beats or lyrics and things like that. So if we want to create a timing track manually, we may be able to go across and, and pick out the different elements and play them back and put a timing track manually. I'll quickly discuss automated uh, timing tracks as well because that this waveform does have an implication with automated timing tracks. However, I will do a separate video on timing tracks. So here we've got a raw waveform. So now this may be not what we need. We may want to try and target certain frequency ranges to you know, really help us pick out the sounds that we're looking for. So if we right click, you can see we've got the option of bass, waveform, treble, alto, custom and non-vocal. And we'll just quickly go through those. So if we select bass and keep an eye on this uh, waveform, you can see the waveform changes. And this is now showing only the frequency ranges that are in that bass range. And if we play that back, you can see, yeah, it doesn't sound very pleasant, but this might be just what you're looking for to be able to pick out those, you know, bass drum beats. Equally, we can do the reverse, which is target the high end. And this might be useful for picking out in certain songs, things like uh, cymbal crashes and things like that. Yeah, but if we have a listen to this, see, and then we've got alto, which is a different frequency range, but we've also got a custom, so we can actually really nail the type of frequencies we want to listen to or want to visualize. And then the final one is this non-vocal waveform. If I select that, we get a new waveform. And what this tries to do is it tries to remove the vocals from the track. Now. In certain tracks, it'll be more successful than in others because what it does, it looks for any sounds that are equally distributed on the left and the right channel of, uh, you know, the sound spectrum. Now, usually the lead vocals do sit in the middle, not so much with backing vocals. Sometimes they'll be distributed more to the left and more to the right. But do remember that also certain instruments and sounds may also sit in the middle, so they may be lost as well. But there's an algorithm going on there, and if, you, if we listen, it does sound different, so we are losing other things, but at least it gets rid of the audio, which might be useful for us for trying to pick things out without the distraction of the uh, vocals. Sorry, not audio, vocals. Okay, so that's the use case for all of these uh, different waveforms, but it gets even more useful than that. If we now look at automated timing tracks, if we go here, I'll just get rid of this zoomed in view now. If we right click on new timing, add timing tracks. Once you've downloaded the VAMP plugins, you'll get all of these different options so you can, you know, automatically detect beats and things like that. But the clever thing is it will use this current waveform as its source. So if we run the same algorithm on different waveforms, we will get different results. So I've done that here. And if I zoom in, you can see I have generated one using the raw waveform, bass, treble, and non-vocals. And if we look, even though I've used exactly the same algorithm, they don't always line up. So one of these might be better than the other. 
And this will be, you know, vary depending on which audio track you're doing. So it's for you to then analyze and think, well, this one worked better for me. In this case, I'm going to use this non-vocal one. Yeah, but you can see there, you can see there's, there is a slight difference. So this gives you total flexibility. So that covers the basics of wave, uh, waveforms. And like I say, I'll be doing another video on timing tracks. So until next time, see you later.